The following BLTV program is brought to you by O'Flaherty Law. Please enjoy. Welcome to Learn About Law. My name is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law, and today we're going to talk about shareholder meetings for Illinois corporations. So Illinois corporations, unlike LLCs, are required to hold an annual meeting of shareholders in order to keep their corporate form intact. And so what I mean by this is that one of the th reasons that you incorporate, if you're a uh, small business owner especially, um, is to protect yourself as a shareholder from personal liability for corporate debt. So if the corporation uh, doesn't have enough assets to pay its creditors or to pay its lease or other liabilities, then the corporation can dissolve. And as long as everything is on the up and up and corporate formalities have been upheld throughout the whole process, then the creditors of the corporation can't come after the personal assets of the shareholders or the directors. Um, so basically whatever the corporation owns is the limit of what corporate creditors can get to. But like I said, what's really important here is that in order for this to work, the corporation has to properly follow corporate formalities. One of those corporate formalities is holding annual shareholder meetings. So even if you are not a size of corporation that would require really a shareholder meeting in order to keep its shareholders informed and give them a voice in the affairs of the corporation uh, to elect directors, even if you're a sole shareholder uh, of, of a corporation, you still have to have these annual shareholder meetings in order to keep the corporate, corporate form intact and in order for the corporate form to serve its intended purpose of protecting you for personal liability for corporate debt. Because if you don't, the first person, uh, the first thing that a person suing you personally for corporate debt will do will be to ask you to produce a corporate book and see that meetings of uh, shareholders have not been held over the past several years, and then they'll be able to do something called pierce the corporate veil and attribute the corporate debt to you personally because you haven't really been operating the corporation properly like a corporation. So that's one of the main reasons why we want to do this, regardless of the size of the corporation. Like I said, if you're if you've got more shareholders than just a couple of people that are working close in the corporation, it's got a lot of other valuable purposes too. So we'll talk about um, the difference between initial meetings of shareholders, special meetings of shareholders, and annual meetings uh, in just a moment here. Uh, so initial meetings of shareholders are the first thing that you do when you're starting a corporation. You usually uh, create bylaws, file articles of incorporation with the Secretary of State, and then you have an initial meeting of shareholders to ratify the bylaws basically say we all agree to these bylaws uh, and elect a, a board of directors to run the company. And these, if it's a really small company, again, these might be the same people as the shareholders. It might be different people. A special meeting of shareholders is used when there's a special event that requires shareholder consent according to the bylaws uh, or according to the Business Corporation Act. Uh, anything that requires a vote of shareholders that can't be done at the annual meeting. Uh, there are certain things that can be just managed by the directors on a, uh, you know, throughout the ordinary course of business, but other things, typically like the sale of a major part of the business or taking on of a, a big loan or changing the corporation's name, may require uh, a special meeting of the shareholders to effectuate. And whether a special meeting is required for a particular decision, like I said, is determined first by the bylaws and what the bylaws say, and then if the bylaws are silent, uh, or sometimes uh, re even if the bylaws say that a special meeting is not required, the Business Corporation Act uh, for Illinois may require a special meeting for certain types of decisions. Finally, annual meetings are the routine meetings that occur once a year, and usually what will happen at these meetings is the uh, election or re-election of the board of directors. Uh, you might go over the finances of the, of the previous year. Uh, you might vote on any routine issues that, that need a vote of the shareholders that weren't urgent enough to call a special meeting. Uh, and for this reason, because the, one of the main reason, things you want to do is at an annual meeting is just keep your shareholders informed of corporate performance, these are often held uh, at the close of the fiscal year when you have all the data from the previous year to share with your shareholders. Uh, sometimes the date of the meeting is fixed in the bylaws. When you hold an annual meeting or a special meeting of shareholders, you want to comply with the notice requirements 
that are in your bylaws. So your bylaws will state how notice has to go out to the shareholders, and you want to make sure that all of your shareholders are, receive proper notice. And in order to be valid uh, and vote on any issues, you need to have a quorum of the shareholders um, it, present at the meeting. So if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below this post at learn-about-law.com or below the video on our YouTube station. If you need some help, give us a call at 630-324-6666. That's 630-324-6666. If you found this helpful, uh, please subscribe to us on YouTube, iTunes, uh, or SoundCloud, or wherever you listen to your podcast or watch your videos. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Thanks so much for watching our video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Click the subscribe button for new videos every week and download and review us on iTunes. Visit learn-about-law.com for other legal-related articles and videos. Visit our business podcast and video blog, seizeyourbusiness.com. And visit Making Real Estate Fun for real estate videos and podcasts. Call us at 630-324-6666 for a free consultation.